The Broward Sheriff's deputy and an inmate both have just been released from the hospital after a multi-car crash. This happened early this morning in Fort Lauderdale. Local 10 News reporter Laren Livingston is live in Fort Lauderdale at that scene. How's everybody doing? Everybody, thankfully, is okay. In fact, there's some cars still driving by, kind of crunching over the glass and the plastic and the metal that's left behind here. This whole section of Andrews Avenue between Broward and Las Olas was shut down as a result of this crash for nearly six hours, actually a little longer than that, after this deputy, Stephen Serfos, and his inmate, Joy Rivera Hernandez, were plowed into after reportedly someone drove through a red light. Out of uniform and into a set of patient scrubs, that deputy was eventually released from the hospital hours after the crash. He's good. He's good. The deputy's dad rushed to the scene. He's great. He's a great guy. He tells local tennis his son's only been on with Broward County about a year and a half. Dad's just glad he walked away from this bashed up Broward County cruiser, along with the inmate who was headed to jail on a DUI charge, but also ended up in the hospital. I was trying to make a right and boom. Bryce Powers and his roommate were in this silver Mazda just trying to get home from a friend's birthday party. The sheriff's office says the driver of this black charger went through a red light at 2nd and Andrews Avenue, first plowing into the deputy, then into the silver Mazda. You see that, uh, the crack? Yeah, that's my head. Are you okay? But we're good, though. We're all good. We've learned the driver of the Black Dodge had two women and a man in the car. All four were treated at the hospital. Even at his own emergency call, we're hearing that deputy was a deputy. He asked me if I was okay, if I needed any assistance, so they were very professional. And Dad, very proud. That sounds like it. And we're still waiting to learn if 25-year-old Brian Espinosa from Plantation, he's the driver of that Black Dodge, will be facing any charges or any tickets as a result of this. But we do know that there are some video clips that the deputies will likely be taking review of from the surveillance cameras perched out here outside of the county building. That's part of the investigation as well as if whatever the, those factors may have been, if there was alcohol involved in this or if this was a case of just distracted driving. We'll keep you posted. For now, reporting live, Larry Livingston, Local 10 News.